But overall, rough numbers, um, and I'll be completely transparent with you guys. I got it under contract for 66. Since I'm taking it down, I'm gonna give my partner Derek $10,000, you know? So <laughs> All right, guys. It's gonna be a short vlog today. We are going to check out a new house that Benjamin actually just picked up. And uh, we're gonna break down the deal for you, show you what it looks like, and then in a couple weeks when it's done, we'll give you an update. Lego. All right, guys, so I just had to make a stop at my uh, mailbox to pick up a check. It's actually a leaseback check, and uh, this is from a recent deal. I actually closed with a new guy. Uh, his name's Steven. He's been dabbling in real estate for the last couple years, and during quarantine, I kind of helped him get more serious, set out a game plan. Uh, he locked up a couple properties and wasn't able to close them, uh, and then he brought me this one, and uh, it was a really good deal. So we locked it up, and I sold it. Uh, seller tried to back out a couple times. Uh, so we had to maneuver through some things, and then uh, he needed to get an apartment, and so we helped him get an apartment and we had to wait till he closed to get money to show the apartment that he had money. And uh, it was just a lot of hoops we had to jump through, but every deal is different, right? So, you know, that's part of doing real estate. And so, yeah, we closed the deal about a week and a half ago. Uh, Steven made about 10 grand, uh, we made 10. And yeah, they sent me a check for $3,000, as you guys can see here. And uh, basically I'll hold this money until he moves out. And that's like, a, it's just like an insurance policy. So if he, for some reason, didn't move out, uh, we could just take money from that. Or, you know, you gotta think the buyer is uh, paying holding costs and we're already two weeks in and time is everything. So uh, this is just like an insurance policy, but he's got him, we have him an apartment, he's set up and he's supposed to be out Friday, Steven's gonna help him move. So think about that as well. Like Steven's already got his money and he's still working on the deal. And sometimes it's like that, guys. Um, but you know, I feel like a lot of people talk about how to get deals, but they don't talk about what it takes to get a deal closed. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all, but we're gonna go check out the house with uh, Benjamin. That's good, bro. <laughs> how you living? Doing good. All right, guys, so we've made it to the property. We're here with Mr. Benjamin. Uh, he's gonna give us a walkthrough and then just talk about the property, the numbers, and all that good stuff for you. All right, what's going on, everybody? So yeah, we're at my second rental, um, literally closed today. And uh, yeah, this shit went by so fast. Like literally two weeks ago, I gave him a call. He was here doing some work. Uh, I asked if I can come out, negotiate him a good price, got him on the contract, closed in like literally two weeks after that. So. Um, we're here today. Uh, I have foundation coming. It needs a lot of work, but it's completely fine. We got it at a deep discount, so it all makes sense, even with the twenty twenty-five thousand uh, dollar rehab needed and everything. So, let's take a look. Um, and just being completely honest, this will probably be a Section Eight property, um, so it doesn't have to be super nice or anything. Um, so let's take a look. All right, guys. So here's the house: four bedroom, one and a half bath. Um, yeah, come on in. I'll show you around. All right, so ballpark figures is going to take about realistically 23, 24,000 to get everything. That's with foundation, more than likely a little plumbing, flooring, paint throughout, patchwork throughout, new doors, new uh, everything carpet, vinyl, everything. Um, but yeah, foundation, like I said, is the huge, the biggest issue with the property. Over there in the kitchen, it's seven inches higher than the back of the house. So there's definitely something going on, something janky in this foundation. All right, so the measuring foundation, as you guys can see, it shoots a red laser. And it'll tell you how even the flooring and the walls are. And I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of goes down. And same thing on the window. And then they'll measure it to the baseboard. But uh, yeah, this is the living room. Um, yeah, the right before 
before I purchased it, the tenants like literally two weeks ago uh, left just out of nowhere. So that was some more motivation for the seller to sell. Because he was like in, in between, didn't know if he wanted to fix it up or continue to rent it out. Uh, but we all know how you know difficult that could be with the tenants. So living room, dining room, small little kitchen. That's another thing I like about the property. It's only 1,100 square feet. So there's not a lot of square footage that we're working with. Um, therefore, the repair costs, you know, less drywall, less flooring, etc. So, simple little kitchen, garage is over there. I'll take y'all towards the back and see all the rooms. So, I wish I could keep the flooring, but unfortunately, uh, they're gonna have to, you know, do some dig outs with the foundation and put some piers all throughout the house, exterior and interior. Uh, master over here, other room over here, um, very small rooms. But again, I'm fine with that. I don't need huge rooms or anything. Honestly, like I said earlier, more than likely it's gonna be section eight. Um, so just need a solid product, you know, um, that can take, that can withstand some wear and tear. So yeah, those are two rooms, and these are other two rooms. New doors throughout, more than likely. And right here, this is the main restroom. Kind of weird setup. I wish it had two tubs, um, but we'll be fine. So this is basically the main Right, so we're gonna tile this all the way up to the ceiling. Keeping the toilet, just gonna anchor it and uh, keep this bad boy as well. Yeah, back there is the last bedroom in the back of the house. And honestly, I think they kept the dogs in here, unless their kids are calling at the door, I don't know, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So as you can see, the house is pretty small, but again, I'm fine with that. Less square footage, less repair, uh, repair costs, you know, in regards to materials. So um, yeah, I'll show y'all the backyard real quick as well. Pretty good size. So this is the backyard. There were two huge trees here. Luckily the seller got them cut a week before closing. Um, so yeah, we didn't have to deal with that or pay for that or anything. Good size. I'm gonna put a little fence over there just for a little more privacy, security, you know. That's the house. You can probably see the little slope going to the right over there. Uh, gonna get a new electric as well, or new panel. We don't have to run wires to the house or anything. A new panel shouldn't cost much. Turbines will be moved. Uh, new roof will be installed as well. We got a good price. Uh, the roofer, we've already used him twice, I believe, uh, but he gave me a good price, investor special, or so he says. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll be done right after foundation. Foundation is gonna be priority before we do anything, literally. So I'm in the process of trying to schedule that so then I can get my subs in after the fact. Um, but overall, rough numbers. Um, and I'll be completely transparent with you guys. I got it under contract for 66. Since I'm taking it down, I'm gonna give my partner Derek $10,000, you know? So basically purchase price 76, rehab about 25 or so. So all in about 100, 101 plus private money. I'm using private money to purchase the property. I um, mean, his fees altogether bring it up to about 104, 105. Uh, and the property is worth about 140, 145. I'm gonna push on the appraisal for 145, 150-ish, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so all in, I don't know what that percentage is, but it makes sense, and uh, it just made a lot of sense for me to take it down as a rental, so. If y'all have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to Derek or myself. All right, guys, so we finally made it back home. Uh, that's gonna be the vlog for today. I just wanted to show you all Ben's new rental and just explain you know, how it works, how we're buying properties with little to no money out of pocket. Uh, even for long-term generational wealth, which is really what it's about. 
And every time that Ben and I buy rentals, we just kind of rotate. So I went last, so he bought this one, he paid me an assignment fee, and vice versa. If I buy one, I pay him an assignment fee. But we always want to make it a win-win for each other. And uh, that's what we do. And because we're getting deals so cheap, it always makes sense. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a great deal, guys. As you can see, a little bit of issues, but I mean, every home we buy needs some type of work. But you know, that's just what works for us. That's the entity structure as we have our own wholesaling and then we have a business together. Uh, just find out what works for you, consult with the CPA. But yeah, you know, it's uh, a great property. He's gonna be doing section eight instead of a regular renter to get higher income. And uh, yeah, we'll take you guys along with the process and we'll get an update in a couple of weeks. But I appreciate you guys kicking it with me. Like, subscribe, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.